Okay, so it's been a little while actually since I uploaded a video onto the channel. So um, obviously this channel is all about precious metal market, the physical side of the market and uh, trends that I'm seeing. And one of the things that's been going on for a couple of months now is just almost like a glut of silver in the market. There was there was a time uh, just after lockdown, obviously we had the silver squeeze, which was a worldwide thing. Um, and there was a time and it lasted for quite some some months where silver was just scarce. They just couldn't get hold of silver. The, the premiums were very high. The last couple of months, I'm seeing the exact opposite of that. I am seeing more silver than I've probably ever seen being sold. And um, as an example, um, so I had uh, a seller sell me in two installments, 20 kilos of silver. Uh, through one kilo bars and I was making half of what I used to make as far as uh, monetary amounts so the premiums have really come down and I'm going to go through three reasons as to why I believe there is a lot of silver in the market and why the silver premiums are falling out of the market. So the first one is my own kind of interpretation of something called Gresham's Law, which some of you may have heard of. And and this is uh, this is effectively, if you look, I've taken this quote directly from Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia is not the, the best source, but it kind of reinforced what I knew Gresham's Law was anyway. So I'm quite happy to share this as a quote. But it says, if there's two forms of commodity money in circulation, uh, then basically what will happen is that the more superior form um, will leave circulation because people would rather hold that and spend the inferior. And I'll, I'll give you a, and, this, and I was driving in my car and this is why I, I kind of think this is one reason we're seeing a lot of silver. I was driving in my car and I was thinking about something and I was thinking about like why all of a sudden is the silver market turning, you know, why are we seeing a lot of selling in silver? And I thought to myself, everyone knows that there's this like cost of living crisis where uh, consumer price inflation is going up more than, than high um, income. So basically the consumers are getting uh, squeezed and that might mean that you need to liquidate some assets. With Gresham's Law, and as I said, I, I, I remember this scene from years ago where um, me and my friends got a taxi back and one of my friends worked in the city at the time in London and um, we all chipped in for the taxi fare and he gave me a £50 note and I was the last one to get dropped off and I was looking at the taxi fare and I had like this £50 note and I had two 20s and a 10. And I was thinking to myself, I hope that it's under £50, the taxi fare, because then I can pay with uh, the 220s and the 10 and keep the £50 note. Even though they are exactly the same, in my mind, £50 note is superior. It's rarer, you don't see it as often, it's nicer to look at, it's a £50 note. And um, I think we're kind of seeing something like that in the market because if you are a precious metal investor, most precious metal investors I speak to have gold and they have silver. Not a lot have platinum nowadays, but gold and silver. If because of the um, cost of living crisis, if you are having to sell down some of your portfolio, what I think is that people are kind of like that, that 50 pound note experiment that I said. I think that what they are thinking is I'd rather hold on to my gold and spend the silver because in my mind, even though like if I need to sell £2,000, right, I can I can have £2,000 worth of gold or £2,000 worth of silver. If I hold them in both hands, they're equal, but in my mind, I'd rather keep the gold and that's why I'm selling the silver. So this could be part of the reason why we're seeing as much silver as we are because people are having to sell down some of their assets. And when it when push comes to shove, they'd rather part with the silver than the gold. So that's one of the reasons. Next one is that I have a lot of people that know that I am in the industry and they say, I want to get involved. I just want to see how it goes. Um, I've got like 300 pounds to invest. And I'm like, well, 300 pounds isn't a lot really in this in this industry. So you're. You, I would recommend buying silver. 
and um, because they're not investors, they only want to dabble a little bit. So those <clears throat> those kind of people <clears throat> naturally gonna buy silver rather than gold. Because if you've only got a couple of hundred pounds worth of um, investment or exposure to the precious metals, you're going to invest in silver. And these are the people that are probably least likely, especially like if they see the silver price go down, they're probably going to, they don't really understand what they're getting involved in. They don't understand cycles. They don't understand markets. So they're probably going to say, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to sell. Uh, so what you can end up seeing is that if the silver price comes down, and causes them to kind of think, oh, I don't like this exposure. I want to get my money back. There's a good chance that these smaller capitalized seller, uh, investors are going to become sellers. And if they all do it coordinated at once, that could be why you're seeing part of the glut that we're seeing in the market with silver. But the other one, which is very important, I look at the silver price performance over the so I'm filming this in October 2023. I used uh, this is an excellent free tool on uh, the Oranum website where you can select gold, silver, or platinum. Um, I select silver, and you can choose the time frame, and it will show you how silver has performed against every single currency in the world. What you're seeing on screen at the moment is the silver price performance in the calendar year 2023. So since the 1st of January to um, the 7th of October 2023 <clears throat> and you can see the countries that are green silver has gone up against that currency there's not many is there there's Turkey Russia Argentina uh, Venezuela and uh, is that Congo um, some of the some of the African countries other than that if you invested in silver this year you're down you're down against the euro the pound the dollar even the, the Mexican pesos, uh, Colombian um, pesos, is it? Uh, Australian dollar, Indian rupee. It's been a bad investment. Silver this year has not really helped anyone. Anyone would have been better holding cash. And I think that's another big reason that people are just being like, do you know what? This investment is not doing what I thought it would. I'm going to sell some or they give up or they see that um, some banks are offering higher returns now because interest rates are higher or that maybe they're investing in shares. The fact of the matter is there's a lot more exciting investments than silver. Um, if you're a contrarian, this can be a very good sign because if everyone's throwing in a towel and selling, it means that number one, you're not in a bubble. Number two, market's probably depressed. The thing to consider, though, is that you could say you could have said this about silver for a year or two. You know, um, eventually, yeah, that there, there, there will be a, a very good time to invest in silver and it will be the bottom of, mar of the market. And probably no one will know it's the bottom of the market until after the fact. But it is encouraging for contrarian investors. But you can see on screen just silver has just not performed this year. And I think that especially the lower capitalized investors, people that are having to sell to make ends meet or to um you know you, you you need to fix your car and it's going to cost 500 pounds or whatever why not sell a bit of silver it's not making me any money anyway and i think that that's part of the reason why we're seeing a glut and when i say glut i mean a, a surplus of silver in the market make sure please that you uh follow this channel for more precious metal investment um analysis if you like and comment on the set on the um, the videos, it means more people will see it. The more people that are watching my videos, the more inclined I'm going to be to make videos. So if you like this content, please support the channel, and uh, in doing so, it will encourage me to make more and more regular videos. Thanks for your time.